Have you ever pondered the concept of pace and wondered if it has an end? From the ceaseless ticking of time to the constant motion of particles, pace is an omnipresent aspect of our universe. It governs the rhythm of our lives and the laws of physics alike. But what if we told you that pace, as we understand it, might not be infinite? Intrigued? Well, buckle up. Join us as we delve into the intriguing world of pace and its scientific implications. We often talk about the pace of life, but what does this mean scientifically? In the grand tapestry of existence, every organism dances to the rhythm of life, a rhythm often dictated by biological clocks. These clocks, or more scientifically, circadian rhythms, are our internal metronomes. They guide our sleep-wake cycles, our feeding habits, and even our moods. But did you know these rhythms do more than just tell us when it's time to hit the hay or grab a snack? Indeed, they do. Our health and well-being are intricately tied to these rhythms. An orchestra of bodily functions, from hormone production to cell regeneration, marches to the beat of this biological drum. It's not only about when we sleep or eat but also how our bodies function at their core. Scientific research has delved deep into this topic, unearthing fascinating insights. For instance, a study published in the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism found that disruption of these rhythms, like working night shifts or experiencing jet lag, can increase the risk of metabolic disorders, including obesity and diabetes. In another study, Researchers at the University of Pittsburgh discovered that irregular sleep-wake patterns could even lead to lower happiness levels and higher rates of depression. It seems the pace of our lives, dictated by our circadian rhythms, can directly impact our physical and mental health. But it's not all doom and gloom. Understanding our biological rhythms gives us the power to adapt our behaviors and environments to better suit our internal clocks. By aligning our daily activities with our natural rhythms, we can optimize our health, boost our mood, and enhance our overall well-being. So, the pace of life isn't just about how fast we move or how much we achieve in a day. It's about rhythm, harmony, and balance. It's about how our bodies and minds synchronize with the natural ebb and flow of day and night, activity, and rest. So, the pace of life has profound effects on us. But what about the pace in the physical world? In physics, Pace takes on a whole new meaning. It becomes more than just a measure of speed. It transforms into an intriguing concept that gives us a deeper understanding of the universe we live in. To understand pace in the realm of physics, let's turn our gaze to light. Light travels at an astounding pace, a constant speed of approximately 186,000 miles per second. This is the fastest speed in the universe, according to our current understanding of physics. It's this pace, the speed of light, that forms the backbone of Albert Einstein's theory of relativity. Einstein's theory of relativity is a cornerstone of modern physics. It tells us that the laws of physics are the same for all non-accelerating observers, and that the speed of light in a vacuum is the same no matter the speed at which the observer is traveling. In essence, this means that time can appear to move slower if you're moving fast. This is often referred to as time dilation, a fascinating example of pace in physics. But it's not just about how fast light travels. It's also about the path it takes. Light always takes the path that requires the least time, known as Fermat's principle of least time. This principle helps us understand how light refracts and reflects, changing its pace as it moves from one medium to another. Pace in physics also plays a crucial role in our understanding of the universe at large. It helps us unravel the mysteries of black holes, where the immense gravitational pull slows down time, affecting the pace at which events occur. From the speed of light to the bending of space-time, Pace in physics is a remarkable concept. It pushes the boundaries of our understanding, challenging us to rethink what we know about time and space. The pace of light is constant, but what happens when we look at pace on a smaller scale? As we delve deeper into the universe, into the realm of the minuscule, the world of quantum physics, our understanding of pace takes on a whole new dimension. 
When we delve into the microscopic world of quantum physics, pace gets even more intriguing. Imagine a world where things can exist in multiple states at once, until observed. A world where particles can be entangled, with one instantly affecting the other, no matter the distance between them. This is the realm of quantum physics, and it challenges our traditional understanding of pace. Let's begin with quantum superposition. In the quantum world, a particle can exist in multiple states at once. Think of Schrodinger's cat, both alive and dead until observed. This concept of superposition means that the pace of change is not linear or predictable, but rather, it is probabilistic. The pace at which a particle changes its state is not determined until it's observed. Next, there's quantum entanglement. Here, two particles can become entangled in such a way that changing the state of one particle instantly changes the state of the other, regardless of the distance between them. This suggests that pace, as we understand it in our everyday world, doesn't apply in the quantum sphere. The pace of change happens instantaneously, defying our conventional understanding of speed and time. This idea of instantaneous change leads us to the concept of quantum teleportation. It's not about physically moving from one place to another, but rather transferring information about a particle state from one place to another instantly. This is the ultimate pace, faster than the speed of light, and is happening at a quantum level. So what does all this mean for our understanding of pace? It means that pace isn't just about speed and time, it's also about state and information. It's about probabilities and entanglements. And most importantly, it's about understanding that in the quantum world, pace can be both fast and slow at the same time. Quantum physics shows us that pace can be both fast and slow at the same time. But is there an end to pace? Let's explore this further in our next scene. So, does pace have an end? As we delve into this concept, we find ourselves confronted with theories that suggest a slowing down or even a stoppage of pace. Let's begin with a popular theory known as the heat death of the universe. This theory is based on the second law of thermodynamics, which states that the entropy or disorder of an isolated system always increases over time. In the context of our universe, this means that it is gradually moving towards a state of maximum entropy where all energy is evenly distributed and no work can be done. This would be a state of no change, no movement, no pace. Next, let's talk about the concept of absolute zero in thermodynamics. Absolute zero, defined as zero degrees Kelvin, is theoretically the lowest temperature possible. At this temperature, particles are predicted to stop moving altogether, reaching a state of minimum kinetic energy. In other words, the pace of particle movement would reach its end. Some have even suggested that time itself might come to an end. This is based on the concept of the Big Freeze or Big Rip, where the expansion of the universe eventually leads to a point where time as we understand it ceases to exist. However, it's important to remember that these theories are just that, theories. They are based on our current understanding of the universe and our current scientific models. They are subject to change as we learn more about the universe and its laws. Moreover, these theories speak to a slowing down or end of pace on a cosmic scale. What happens on smaller scales within galaxies, star systems, or on our own planet could be quite different. So, while these theories suggest an end to pace, they don't provide a definitive answer. The concept of pace remains a fascinating and complex topic in science full of mysteries and enigmas waiting to be solved. It continues to challenge our understanding and to spur us on in our quest for knowledge. While these theories suggest an end to pace, the concept of pace remains a fascinating and complex topic in science. In our exploration of pace, we've journeyed from the rhythm of our lives to the edges of the universe. We've seen how pace the rate at which something happens or progresses influences our everyday lives. From the ticking of a clock to the beating of our hearts, pace is an integral part of our existence. Our journey took us further into the realm of physics, where pace assumes a whole new dimension. Here, it guides the movement of celestial bodies and even light itself. 
We explored how pace, or velocity, is a fundamental concept in physics, shaping our understanding of the universe and its workings. Then, we delved into the world of quantum physics, where pace takes on an even more complex role. We discovered that in this microscopic realm, pace can be both defined and undefined, demonstrating the paradoxical nature of the quantum world. We also discussed theories that suggest a possible end to pace, a point where time and space become irrelevant. These theories challenge our conventional understanding of pace, opening up new avenues of thought and research. As we conclude our journey, we're left with a sense of awe and wonder. The concept of pace, so simple in our daily lives, yet so complex in the realms of physics and quantum physics, continues to fascinate us. As we continue to explore and understand the world around us, one thing remains certain, the concept of pace will continue to intrigue and challenge us.